Classic readers, we are here with Miss Lauren London. <laughs> we had a moment before the recording started. Yes, 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 yes. So, Lauren, tell us why we are here today. We are here today for Medea's Big Happy Family Press Junket. The premiere is tonight. We are here celebrating that. We're going to talk about that. All right. <laughs> All right. So, tell us a little bit about your character, Renee. Renee is a big old mess. Renee is just wrong with Byron, Bow Wow's character, for the wrong reasons. Just one of those girls that you're just like, ew, who created you? <laughs> but, like, I, I've been telling people that I, I took the role because she was funny. You know, right. she wasn't built to take seriously. It wasn't this character for, you know, deep thought. She was right. just comic relief. And I, you know, I hope people get that from the movie. It's much different than anything I've ever done before, and I just got done having the baby, so I needed something funny. Right. So it was cool. It was funny. Well, working with Tyler Perry is definitely funny. Yes. How did you feel when you first saw him come in the whole big get-up of Medea? <laughs> so like, explain that moment. That's what <laughs> Well, the first time I saw the Medea get-up, it was on his stand-in. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that doesn't look like the Medea I've seen in film. But then, you know, he came, and there was a scene that, like, he told us all. Have you seen it? No, I haven't okay. seen it yet. I see it tonight. Okay, okay. So it, there's a scene where he comes in and he tells us all, like, his opinion on everybody and curses every, everybody out. And that, to me, I could not keep a straight face. I was just like, you know, I had to get out of character <laughs> a couple times. But, right. You know, you watch the film and it's just fun to be a part of it. It was. It really, really was. So how is it on his set in Atlanta? Because his production that he's built down there is massive. Amazing. And to know a black man is running all of that down there. It like, was inspiring. Like, you know, I really had to take a look at myself. Like, girl, you get, you need to start getting on the, get on a good foot. Like, you need to and believe in yourself and never give up. And who cares, you know, who cares what the doubters say? I think, you know, especially with his story, a lot of people have negative things to say and, you know, told him he couldn't do it. And right. look what he's done. And that's with anybody who does anything outside of film that the sky's the limit, really. It right. really, really is. He's created an entire empire with his hands. Right. And that, to me, was, like, eye-opening and just, wow, inspiring, for real. Cool. Okay, so a lot of people know you from ATL. Yes. No, no. Because <laughs> I always rock the no. Yes, I'm from the X, so I love Oh, that. really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coming from that and then being on, you've been on 90210. Yeah. And you've had a couple other different appearances. How has that transition going from that moment now and then now you're a mother and just bringing it all together oh girl it feels like a whirlwind really i mean after atl my entire life changed entire entire life changed like i went into doing atl 20 years old still living at home with my mom had a beat up raggy car like <laughs> all of these things um i didn't know going into atl that my life would go out this way you know you have your ideas on what first film you would do before you do any films you know so right. My whole life has changed from ATL to this Christmas, just me evolving as a woman, as a person. I'm not the same girl I was shooting ATL, you know. Right, I'm right. years old, I'm 26 now. Now I have a son who, right. he's my first priority. Right. So, I, yeah, I would say I've changed how I bring, bring it all together. Girl, just keep living. That's keep living. Power. Because I know you have shooting a movie that's like, yeah. Hour day. So how do you work that schedule and then also, you know, have your son and making sure that, like, hold on, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. You know, like, thankfully, thankfully, wait, thankfully, you know, I, I went out there to get settled first for the first week, and then I brought him I brought him out there. And he's at an age now where he can come with me and, you know, right. but when he gets to go to school, I'm going to have to really balance it because I want to make sure that I'm there driving him to school every day, right. not some nanny. Or you know what I'm saying? Right. I want it to be me. So I haven't really got to that part yet. You know, this has been, I think, like the only movie I've done this year. So right. I did this, and then it slowed down again. Okay. Now, um, you just had your son. Your mother now. Is it everything that people described it to be? Amazing, like just incredible. Yeah, yeah it's all of those things. It's tough, too, right. because, you're, you know, it's a lot of responsibility. But no matter what goes on in the day, no matter what anything happens, like when he smiles, it takes it all away. And I right. didn't understand that until I had a kid. I used to hear that, and like, how 
what is that? But it really does. Like right. him being happy and healthy is all that I need. And I just was telling someone that if it all shut down, if all the lights cut off and all I was was his mother, I'm okay with that. I got to give you props. You kept that shut all the way down. Yeah, I'm like, trying. I'm trying. And, uh, and, and we respect that so much for the simple fact there are so many people that are out there that will go sell their baby pictures to OK Magazine people real quick just to make that quick buck on your child. And hey, I'm like, that, and I, I don't want, this is the thing is that I want him to be able to say if he ever wanted to be an actor or whatever, I want to do it. I don't want him to just, I want him to really experience, this isn't like life. Right. This is what I do, but this is not life. I want him to know what life is and what it's like to have normal friends and, you know, school and it just not be about this. Because that's how I was raised. You know, it wasn't about this. I grew up in L.A., but the first time I've been to Hollywood, I was 18. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And I think I want to instill that in him. Granted, his life is going to be much different than mine growing up, but right. I don't want to share my baby with the world. Like that. He's I too like precious. That. You know? <laughs> All right. So your boss is fan. You read boss up. Yeah. <laughs> Except for when I'm on it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I want to know, what's your love-hate relationship on boss What do you love? On Bossa? Yeah, things that are, like, certain categories. I do love when you guys have, like, people that have been, like, arrested or they're looking for someone. Like, the serious stories. Mm -hmm. Like, um, remember when the little girl, her mom sold her? Right, right, I right, actually right. found that out on Bossa. Nice. Okay. I like that. We're seeing it sometimes. Yeah. What's the thing that you don't like about Bossa's on the most? Besides you guys have been nice to me recently. Um, okay. I guess sometimes the rumors that aren't true. Like, who is she dating? Those type of stuff. It's like, that ain't true. That is what I do. Well, I mean, that's with anything. I guess you can't clear up everything. Right. right. You, I mean, I understand everyone has a job to do. But I do like when you guys put out um, information that, you know, because a lot of times you guys are the only things young kids are reading. Right. So that is the only way they are getting their news, which right. is, I feel, a responsibility for you guys to put some positive things up there because that is the only thing that they're reading nowadays, too. So right. it's like if they can get what they need but also see what is important, right. I'm okay with that. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank you. time to talk thank to us. Thank you. See, we're not that bad. You guys aren't. You guys aren't. <laughs>